Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Sim City and welcome back to Riverbend. Things are going pretty well at the moment. It's definitely an improvement over how things started in the last episode. We're currently sitting just shy of 13 and a half thousand people. We are making just over 9,000 Somalians per hour and we're sitting on 72,500 Somalians with a couple of new buildings popping up here and there which is generally just all good things. Now, if we could get the population to 15,000, it would mean that we can go ahead and upgrade City Hall, which means we can deal with this little request here to plop a hot air balloon park because we need a Department of Tourism to do that. And then to get the Department of Tourism, we need 15,000 people to upgrade City Hall. So basically, we're, we're kind of just waiting really that's that's kind of where we're at we're waiting for the population to increase but i kind of get the feeling it's not necessarily going to unless i make a few changes so i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade just a few more roads around here because i do want to try and get some uh, some more high density buildings in here so these guys pretty much within this sort of block here are all going to be upgraded to high density just to see if we can maybe bring that population up kind of considerably and maybe get it up to a, to a good place above 15,000 and to hopefully just change a bunch of these buildings into, you know, medium and, and high density buildings. So swapping those out is step one, but step number two, I think honestly, is it's going to be parks. I think parks will be kind of necessary for this. Also, what are you? Oh, it's a big box shop. Okay. Yeah, I think parks are going to be kind of necessary for this. I am going to sort of stick with the basics, though. I don't want to go crazy because I don't necessarily want to uh, upgrade too much here. I want to be kind of careful with what we do. So what I'm going to do, I think, what is this? This is a small field with parking. That's... There's something about that that's just kind of depressing. This is a water play water park playground. Man, having a having a water park playground in just a neighborhood sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That sounds dreadful. That sounds like something you do not want to do. A water park playground just in a neighborhood. Also, looking at it. I'm kind of realizing that there's probably a good chance that a lot of these buildings actually aren't going to upgrade because there's not enough room. So let me take out that th those two roads right there. Let me bring a nice sort of dense road. No, oh, it's going to get rid of that guy. I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll just sort of do this. We'll fill up these spaces kind of like that because it might give us a little bit more room for some of these guys to expand just a little bit. And hopefully it does. Man, I actually would have loved to have a water park playground near where I lived growing up. But I mean, just uh, it, it, like I said, a, a public water park playground would be disgusting, to be honest. <laughs> let's just put it, let's just put it simply. It would be disgusting. And that's being polite about it. So yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't know about that. We'll also put a little something, something just in there to try and encourage some growth in this little part of the neighborhood. We'll get a little something something there as well to try and encourage some growth there, but uh, I'm not expecting miracles down here just yet. Uh, I did notice that, yeah, sewage is actually having some issues. So can we, I guess, get another little sewage output thing right about there? And that'll keep us pretty good. So that's nice. We got that going for us. We're at 13,932 people, so... I guess, I mean, what is this? This is uh, I guess still a massive amount of residential demand, of course. That's that's just going to be the way of it for the, uh, the foreseeable future, I think. I'm kind of wondering what we build at this point, really. It is kind of just a management game at this point. I mean, it's, it's, why are you, what the hell? No power caused, okay. I don't know how no power caused the building to collapse, but apparently it did. Uh, it's it's just a game of management at this point and figuring out how to get things to grow. So I think what I'll do, just because I'm I'm wanting to do things right now, is I might look into planes and I might look into streetcars. The problem with streetcars is they need these high-density streetcar avenues. 
Although to be fair, I could upgrade this entire central road to have streetcars, which might be kind of cool. The, uh, the issue is that I would like streetcars to kind of go that way, but they can't because of that factory. So I'm not too sure about that one. Can I get like a streetcar bridge? Is that a thing? I don't, I don't actually know if it is. Can I go from like here to there? Oh, I totally can. All right. Well, that's interesting. I'm kind of wondering how I would do what I want to do here. Because I, I do like the idea of streetcars going around, so... I mean, maybe... Maybe if I took out this... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's only so much I can do with a city that's going to build. I mean, we're going to have to... It's, it's going to hurt the population if I go in and, and take a bunch of this out to replace it with streetcar avenues. But honestly, it might look kind of cool. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. If I replace like this outer section with... Uh, with I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to take out all of this and then replace it with this guy. So all of that can have streetcars. All of this is going to have streetcars as well. Oh man, this is painful to do. My population just dropped by 50%. Oh, that was so many of my people. Oh, <laughs> that's painful. Oh, that hurts. That hurts on a spiritual level. Good lord. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I do not like that at all. Hopefully the population can recover a little bit there because that's... <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, that's... That's rough. <laughs> that's, that's rough is what that is. Good lord. Oh, I don't like that at all. I do. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll rebuild. I'm sure it'll come back. I'm sure it'll be okay. But that was, oh, that was kind of brutal. I'm going to be honest. That was, that was rough is, uh, is what that was. I'm also kind of wondering though, if I could bring some streetcars sort of up here across there and back down. It would mean getting rid of a lot of these guys as well, but... Again, I feel like it could be beneficial. I also kind of wonder how do streetcars. So I need I need a depot, right? So I need this guy, which gives me three streetcars. And I assume, yeah, it's gonna have to be on the highway, which is fine, honestly. It's not really the end of the world. I think right there is probably fine for it. Oh, I think the game crashed. <laughs> I don't think it liked that, so I don't think it was fine. All right, so it placed fine this time. I think having two intersections right next to each other was going to be a disaster there, and the game didn't really know what to do about it, so it crashed, which is fine, I guess. Gonna be 500 Somalians for every streetcar stop, but I'm kind of thinking that this might be kind of beneficial for us. So I'm gonna try and get some really great coverage for the streetcars around here. And I guess a stop in about there would be pretty good as well. So that entire space is covered really nicely by streetcar stops. I would like more of this place to be covered by streetcar stops as well, though. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that. I'm really not. Although I will say, having the population back up above 10,000 makes me a little bit more comfortable. A little bit happier about that. I'm pretty sure it'll continue to climb as buildings continue to come back. I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this helps us out and helps to improve, I guess, the, I don't know, the wealth or the density or the, the general satisfaction of the people is what I'm looking for. What are you complaining about? Omega deliveries are slow. Omega demand is high, but current production rates cannot meet industry needs. Additional Omega Co factories or Omega production lines will increase production rates. Interesting. So this thing is, I can edit this. Oh. Oh, and I can just put like Omega production lines around here. That's kind of cool. And then we get the drones. We get the global market VTOL pads, extraction pods. Interesting. All right. So plop this on a crude oil or raw ore deposit and it will suck the ground dry. All right. Well, that's steady on. <laughs> oh, getting a bit carried away there. Uh, yeah, so this could be kind of cool. I don't really think we're going to bother going too crazy with Omega right now, but eventually for sure. 
and water shortage. That's actually kind of surprising. So let's have a look here. Yeah, we do actually have a deficit. Okay, so maybe we should just look into... Ooh, we have some pollution nearby, some water there. I don't love that. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe what we should do is bring a little road sort of down here. So let's try and get kind of cheeky here. Let's do something like this and something a bit like that. And can I just throw some of these guys onto that road? No. Well, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that I could. That road must be too far out, which is all right. We can go ahead and try to fix that sort of. If I do this and I do this, is that now going to let me do it? It absolutely is. So right there for one of these guys and right there, that is going to sort out the water problems, but it's very close to a polluting area, which I don't love, but I'm kind of okay with it. I don't think it's the end of the world. I will say... I think I'm going to have to make some major changes to this space. I think I'm going to have to do it. So, oh, this is going to suck. This is going to suck, but I'm going to do it. We've got 51,000 Somalians. Bulldoze, 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 and bulldoze. So all of those go away. And then this guy goes all the way up to there. 22,000 Somalians for that. That's a lot of money. But here's what I'm... Oh, I have to get rid of this guy as well. I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is going to suck. This is really going to suck. Unless. No, no, there's no getting out of it. I could I could bring sort of an avenue through here. Uh, my, my thinking with this is that I want to be a little bit. I want to be a little bit sneaky, a little bit tricky. Uh, I want to have a little bit of fun with this. So, yeah. You need to go. All of these guys need to go. Uh, Park is going to need to go. I don't like this. I don't I don't like that I have to do this, but I have to do this. Uh, that can go back in there. And then I can't upgrade this guy. That's not an option. But what I can do is something kind of like this. And then they, these guys here go ahead and get downgraded into regular avenues. So that gives us a space for the streetcars. We don't have a lot of money to do this, but it gives us space for the streetcars to sort of come up and in here and then sort of cross over and, and sort of come back down. And it gives us a bit of overlap on public transport in all these spaces, which I think is, is probably for the best. Uh, and then all of this is going to have to be rebuilt, obviously. It's, it's a lot of, um, it's going to be a lot of work. We'll actually fill up this space here just because we can, and we'll fill up all of these guys. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this, this hasn't backfired massively on me. Uh, to be quite honest, I think what I'm going to do is actually get more residential in there on this side and we'll see what happens. Population is 10,200. Hopefully we can see it sort of pick up a little bit. Did he just say high commercial demand? We do have high commercial demand. Wow. Okay. Let's fill those spaces. Let's fill these spaces. I don't know if anything's going to build. Oh, they are. Okay. Okay. So that's not too bad. Population is slowly coming back, which is fine by me. So I, I, I guess that's okay. I guess it hasn't completely backfired. And I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that this little bit of public transport is going to be good for us. Also, that's a lot of garbage trucks. Good Lord. That's a lot of garbage trucks. I forgot that they do actually go out every morning. They don't just go around all the time. Garbage collection is like a, a daily thing in SimCity, which is pretty cool. Actually, totally forgot about that. Uh, let's also just fill up all of these spaces. I'm going to give... I've, I've given up on not building on the highways, I think. I, I kind of think we need to. I also want rid of that water tower just so I can have all of this space. Because I think... Again, I, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be good for us. I think it's going to kind of work out. Uh, can I have that space there? There we go. And yeah, we're already getting some pretty tall buildings. We're already back up to 13,000 people. So I'm I'm pretty sure today we can maybe get our hands on 15,000 Sims and get this thing upgraded. I also totally didn't realize that people would walk along this. That's pretty cool. And there's, that's actually a tram as well. That's, there's like one person on board, which is fair enough, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's whatever. Yeah, that's, that's whatever. That's what we'll call it. It's whatever. Population, 14,400. 
Still some growth going on. Still some buildings coming together. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I'm really, really pleased with that. 15,200. We have an upgrade. Not bad. Let's get you upgraded. And uh, let's get ourselves the Department of Tourism. Which can go right about there. And then for another upgrade, we need 30,000 residents. So we're going to be waiting a little while. But what we can do is we can go and get ourselves, I think in sports, yeah, the Hot Air Balloon Park, which is, what did it say it's going to do? Raises medium wealth land value. All right. Well, I <laughs> don't, don't know that I love that, but sure. Let's, let's put it right up here nearby the mayor's house. That seems like the right place for it. Or maybe right there. Right at the edge of the city. Yeah, let's let's go for the edge of the city on that thing. This guy is now going to go away. We've managed to do that. And hopefully that means we're actually going to see hot air balloons going around the city. Because that would be kind of cool. I'll be honest. Oh, we've also got some actual high rises now. Well, I don't know if you'd call those high rises, but they're they're towers. Oh, that's really cool. It's feel, it feels like such cool progress. I'm having a moment is what I'm having. Oh my God, what do you want? What do you guys all want? They all want to talk to me about something. Is it tea time? I mean, watch broke. Hey, I know. We need a giant clock. That way we can all throw away our watches. He wants Big Ben is what he wants. I don't, for the life of me, know how to get Big Ben. I can't remember. It's probably in culture, right? Yeah. Big Ben is 550,000 Somalians. I'm going to be honest with you. We're probably not going to build that anytime soon. That is, uh, that is, that is probably not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, he can want Big Ben all he wants. It's, it's just not going to be a thing. Now, I will say, now that we've managed to get the population up a little bit, I do want to build more. Wait, what are you complaining about? Oh my God. Sewage is still a problem. We need a department of utilities so we can get an actual sewage treatment plant because these guys here are not going to last forever. We'll do this for now and hopefully I can throw a little sewage thing there and that'll be all right. Yeah, 9.6 access. But uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need to get the department of utilities pretty soon. But what I would also kind of like to do is look towards planes. The airship hangar would be cool as well. Massive metal balloons full of highly flammable gas. What could go wrong? Float medium and high wealth tourists into your city in massive airships to enjoy everything your city has to offer. Add a commuter airship mooring so commuters can travel to work or shop by airship. It sounds pretty cool, but I kind of just want the munis municipal airport. We can fly medium wealth tourists to the city on small passenger planes, upgrade the airport for high wealth tourists and greater capacity uh, or to ship cargo. Residents do not want to live near an airport, but airports boost the happiness of nearby factories. So having an airport would be kind of cool. It's just getting the space for an airport that would be kind of the problem because we really don't have the space for uh, for an airport in here, which uh, which is unfortunate. We could have got one in there. But I wonder, if I was to build like a little road right about here, can I build an airport on that? Uh, no, there's not really the space. I might have to move the streetcar thing. That's, which is dangerous because the last time I placed one of those, it did crash the game. But uh, I think I might have to take that risk. To be completely honest, I, I do I do think I might have to take that risk and uh, and, and move this thing. Which I don't love the idea of doing, but, uh, eh, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to put it there. There we go. All right. So you can go away. And then what I'm thinking I'm going to do is actually do this right here. Bulldoze you. And can I get an airport in there? I totally can. It doesn't seem like the best place for an airport, though. You know, like right there seems pretty good because you don't have to drive past this like ore thing. How much is it? It's 85,000 simoleons. Okay, the game has to run for a bit if I want to build this. I think there is going to be the best place for it. I mean, either way, you're coming in and landing next to the, the, the ore mining thing, the drill or whatever it is. But 
at least you don't have to drive next to it. So yeah, I think I think we'll get a little airport. Oh wait, no, there's people living there though. Oh, that might be a problem. I think regardless, they're gonna be living next to it though. I guess. Well, actually, I guess I could get rid of these uh, these commercial buildings and replace them. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we'll go and get rid of these commercial buildings, and then we'll go and get rid of these residential buildings, and we'll sort of swap it around. So we'll just do that, and that way, hopefully, these guys aren't going to complain about living next to an airport. I would imagine. I would imagine that's how it works, right? That's probably going to keep them relatively happy. And uh, what we can also do is get some commercial right about there. And I kind of wonder if we should get some industry back here. We don't have any demand for it. We just have demand for residential. In fact, we have demand for high wealth residential. So maybe we need to start looking at... Uh, Maybe we need to start looking into that. Maybe getting one of these guys in here would be a good idea. That would definitely boost the uh, the wealth of the area. Let's give it a shot. We'll do that. That should get some uh, some high wealth stuff in there. It also upgrades the space to be uh, a part of the Cities of Tomorrow stuff. And yeah, we have a gallery being built right there, which is pretty cool. So that'll hopefully deal with some of the high wealth demand. Although I think that was a... It was a... It's a partially commercial space that we've managed to upgrade there. This guy's also abandoned, so why don't we go in and get ourselves some kind of nice uh, plaza for that corner? Wait, is that? Yeah, that one is abandoned. Uh, yeah, I think I think a nice plaza for that corner will introduce a bit more high wealth to the space and hopefully bring that demand down a little bit. We do have commercial demand as well, which is a bit of a pickle, but more importantly, we do have money. So... Let's do, I guess, I, I guess let's do this, All right? We'll get the airport in there. Some of these guys aren't happy because they're living next to it, but honestly, they shouldn't be living there at all because I did rezone those spaces. So let's just bulldoze all of these, uh, all of these houses and those can rebuild. And then all of these guys, that is a big box store we're getting rid of, but all of these guys can go. And they'll get replaced with houses, and that should keep us pretty good. So we have an airport, which can be modified. I actually always, I always forget about the modifications in these things. We'll get that there. This is a cargo terminal, which honestly, honestly, I'm kind of here for. We can get another runway. What? Wait, I can just put two runways next to each other? That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> doesn't, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but sure, we'll do it. Uh, and a passenger terminal. Okay. I kind of like the idea of getting a couple more terminals. And they're only 8,500 for the passenger one. Which is honestly pretty good. So let's just do two passenger terminals and a couple of cargo terminals. And there we go. We've got a little little municipal airport right in the middle of everything. It would have been better if we got it next to some factories. But to be fair, we could probably just put some factories down here once the demand arises for it. Also, what are you complaining about? Low tourist attraction. Your city does not have enough tourism attraction for your airport to function optimally. Well, I mean, that... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. To be fair, that, that does make sense. Oh my god, I've just realized... I'm almost certain that gambling houses are... Like, casinos in general, gambling in general, I'm pretty sure is a huge source of income for any city, if I remember right. I might be misremembering. There is a good chance that I am misremembering, but I'm pretty sure that it's actually kind of huge. I also kind of wonder, could I get this guy like relatively sent up? Can I, can I get this in here as like a source of tourism? We can get the Eiffel Tower. We can get this guy as well. I don't know why I can't put anything on that road there. This is the, that's the same road that I think I tried putting the, uh, the city hall on at one point, and it was just being weird. What else have we got? Oh, I forgot about the, I forgot how many cool buildings were, were in this. Like this one, it's 50,000. But honestly, it would kind of look really cool right there. We've also got the Empire State Building, which I, it's a lot of money, I can't afford that. We've got, we've got the Globe Theater, 48,000. We've got the Oslo Opera House. Oh my God, that's huge. Statue of Liberty right there. Oh my god, there's some... Wait, where is this? Oh, I thought I recognized that. That's the uh, that's the cathedral, uh, the Gothic church in Cologne, Germany. 
I've seen that. I've been there. It's really cool. It's very, very pretty. I'll tell you what we'll go for. Honestly, I, I kind of want this. I, I do. I do kind of want this. I think it's going to look really cool if I get it in like the right spot, which apparently can be right there. So what does it do? Medium tourist attraction, residence 1,100, raises medium wealth land value. I mean, that seems like a good thing, right? Right about there? Well, actually, is that a good spot right about there? I don't know that it is. I kind of like here. Or if I could get it alongside the, uh, the avenue. Or like there. Oh, my God. Right in the middle of, like, everything? <laughs> that seems silly, but yeah, we're doing it. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. We've also got tenement buildings under construction now, so... Hopefully that's actually going to attract... I don't know. I don't know who it's going to attract necessarily, but, uh... It's a pretty cool looking building, right? It's, it's a pretty cool looking building. Hopefully that brings in tourists. Oh, we can build a metals HQ as well. Yeah, hopefully that brings in tourists. What the hell are these things? These are like really sci-fi looking planes. I guess we are next to the Omega Co factory, so that maybe makes sense. It's a bit weird though. <laughs> I'm never going to get used to that. I've, I've played this game, you know, I, I I played the Cities of Tomorrow expansion when it came out and it was it was weird back then, I'll be honest. It's always been a bit weird. Although I will say, I I would I would have loved to see what other expansions would have would have uh, been made for this game. It is it's a little bit sad that we're never really gonna see what this game could have could have been. And I mean in a way, you know, I, I think if this game had, had done more than, you know, maybe that would have changed what City Skylines became. I don't think City... I, I, hmm. I don't know if I want to get into the conversation of, like, would City Skylines have existed if this game was a runaway success? Because I don't think we'll ever really know. I, I don't think there's any way to know right it's 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 one of those impossible questions but at the same time like i don't i i think a lot of people took a lot of like joy in a way that this game sort of flopped uh and and some of that was deserved don't get me wrong i i, I think some there were some really 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 terrible decisions made at like a, a management level with this game. And I think that was probably most likely from a bunch of dudes in suits sitting around a table rather than the creatives at Maxis. But I, I didn't really, well, maybe I did. I don't remember, to be honest. I don't want to sit and say that I didn't take any pleasure in this game falling apart. Uh, if I did, then I regret doing that. Because in, in hindsight, I'm playing this now and it's like, this is kind of fun. It's chill. Sure, it's not super in-depth, but... It's, it is kind of chill. It's just a really casual, kind of fun city builder. You know, things kind of look cool. Things are interesting. You know, we've got our first apartment tower going up. Like, it's... There's a nice bit of progress through here. And I'm enjoying it a lot. Although, at the same time, I do wonder if part of the reason I'm enjoying this as much as I am is because I know that the second I want something a bit more detailed, I can hop over to City Skylines. Right? That might be it as well. But regardless, I I do like this game. <laughs> you know, we're four episodes in now, and I, I've gotta say I'm I'm having fun. I really am. I'm I'm actually genuinely enjoying this. And I'm genuinely loving the fact that we're seeing, you know, taller and taller buildings pop up. I'm loving the fact that we're seeing sort of the technology just start to uh sprawl through here. It's it's cool, man. It's really cool. It's it's really kind of fun. I've got to say, like, just seeing, you know, the first apartment building go up, it's really satisfying. <laughs> it just is. It's really, really satisfying. Speaking of which, let's, um, I guess let's go for something kind of basic. Let's get ourselves another little basic park in here. I think we'll go for the barbecue pavilion right on that corner just to, you know, improve things a little bit. And then maybe, 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 maybe... Can we get something like this in here? We totally can. Can I get two of them in there? No, that's unfortunate. All right, let me bulldoze you. Is there like a longer park or something I could put in that space? I'm I'm gonna doubt it. There might be some long plazas though. 
No, I don't think there are. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping we could get something like a little bit longer that would just fit in that entire space, but I guess, I guess not. Although, get rid of you, get rid of you. Maybe clear out the zoning around these guys because they're only ever going to be small buildings. And then maybe this and this. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know that they line up perfectly, but I think that's kind of cool. And I don't know that I've got too many options for too many different, uh, different things here, but this and this. Yeah, they don't necessarily line up. Well, actually, I think they do line up pretty well. Obviously, there's some gaps there, but I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of a nice little little space right there, right in front of City Hall. A little bit of detailing, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of decoration there in uh, in Sim City 2013. Not something that happens too often. And actually, I've got to say, seeing these other sort of taller buildings coming up around this guy is actually really, really cool. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking seeing sort of a skyline developing here in uh, in good old Riverbend. Although speaking of good old Riverbend, I think it's time to leave it there for today. I'm not going to say that we're done with Riverbend just yet because we do still need to rename it. So, I will, you know, by this point, I will have 100% written down something as the name for this place. So at some point in one of these next episodes, we will rename it. But I think another episode or two with Riverbend and we could probably start looking towards the other cities in the region. I think Riverbend is doing pretty well for itself. Uh, although, honestly, we might want to look into getting another Omega Factory. The game did suggest it, and this spot right here, well, not another factory, but we can, you know, mo obviously modify this one, and we can throw a bunch of these guys over here to um, improve the uh, the output of Omega. Although, I mean, my factories are doing pretty well over here as it is. I just, yeah, I think we want to upgrade it regardless. But yeah, I think, I think that'll do us for today. We're at 22,400 sims, which is pretty fantastic. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.